Hi and welcome back to today's morning report. Charts prices on Monday the 7th of March with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hand Tech Markets. Let's move on to Euro Dollar. And we've had this sort of corrective move again. Uh, sharp volatility on Friday. Big, um, big couple of candles actually to the upside. Interestingly enough, hitting the underside of that old pivot line again. 110.50. Um, and that is uh, where the rally's sort of petered out on Friday and uh, it's fallen over again about 100 ticks down from there so uh, you're fairly mixed actually on the euro um, it's sort of positioning ahead of the ECB meeting really I think um, obviously we had this um, this sharp candle I'll, I'll show you sort of the intraday moves on Friday to talk you through that payrolls report basically because we had the, the headline payrolls report headline data was strong 242 and then um, suddenly the market seemed to just turn around on a sixpence but that, and it wasn't massively unexpected because you had the earnings data that disappointed. So the market generally tends to move on the headline and then sort of reassesses other aspects of the report. And uh, that seems to be the case again. But uh, just over the last few hours, it's actually started as the Europeans have come in today. It had settled down around uh, 109.80. But then bang, you've um, lost uh, about 30 or so ticks since then. So left a, a bit of a reaction high at 109.95 area today and um, you're sort of into a into a bit of a choppy rangy phase I think um, on the euro basically because I think in the next couple of days it's going to stay between 108 and 110 50 and just chop between that and you'd argue actually that the momentum indicators are fairly neutral really um, yeah you've started to sort of fall over on the RSI uh, but MACD line's basically neutral and um, stochastics are rising but I think that that's going to just start to sort of flatten off as well so um, you're generally speaking I think fairly neutral I think on the euro coming into this ECB meeting and uh, I think um, we're not going to see any real movement in front of that out um, either below 108 figure or above to 110.50 I'd be very surprised if we see a, a breakthrough either of those levels so I think you're trading between those two for the next coming days really um, and this hourly chart pretty much sort of reflects that really um, you've sort of seen the uh, the the improvement as in the move above the longer term I say longer term the the, the longer um, hourly moving averages but I don't really see this as a as a, as a rally that's going to continue obviously we've, we've fallen today back to that pivot around 109.50 interestingly um, has been a sort of pivot level now, it's not brilliantly accurate I mean Friday's low on the spike yes uh, was 109 figure um, so that that is also another basis of support uh, before you sort of start to attack 108 figure again but uh, 108 20 um, 108 23 was the low uh, on uh, on was that Wednesday last week but generally speaking I, I don't really see too much sort of decisive direction um, and I, I, again I sort of stress that that figure that pivot uh, around 109.50 is sort of acting as a support now as this uh, the, the Europeans have sold it so I don't really see that this is going to this is going to be making too much of a decisive move in front of the ECB I'd be very surprised if it does so uh, I wish you good luck in your trading on the euro today and I'll speak to you later thank you